In this video, I'd like to show you how to solve equations with brackets. In our first example, we have 3 and then in brackets 3x minus 5 equals 30. Now, if expanding algebraic expressions or solving equations is something you're not yet familiar with, I recommend that you watch my video on those topics first, since these methods will be used in solving equations with brackets. You can find links to those videos in the description box below. Now, the first step is to expand the brackets, which means I'll need to multiply the term outside of the brackets by the terms inside of the brackets. So first, 3 multiplied by 3x. And 3 multiplied by 3x equals 9x. And next, I need to multiply 3 by 5. Now, before doing that, it's important to always consider the operation to the left of a term when carrying out your calculations. So this is 3 multiplied by negative 5, which equals negative 15. Now, let's bring down the remaining part of the equation equals 30. So now that the brackets have been properly removed, we can continue with solving the equation. Now, the goal is to isolate the variable meaning we need to get the variable by itself. So we need to get rid of the coefficient 9 and the constant 15. Now to do this, we need to do reverse order of operations, which means we first need to remove the constant 15. Now the constant 15 is being subtracted in this equation. So to remove it, we have to do the opposite operation, which is addition. And whatever you do on one side of the equal sign, you need to do the same on the other side of the equal sign to keep it equal. So to remove 15 from the left side of the equal sign, I'm going to add 15 to the left side of the equal sign. And minus 15 plus 15 equals zero, which completely removes 15 from the left side. And since I've added 15 to the left side of the equal sign, I also need to add 15 to the right side of the equal sign. And 30 plus 15 equals 45. Now let's bring down the remaining parts of the equation 9x. So now we have the equation 9x equals 45. Now to isolate the variable x, I need to remove the coefficient 9. And remember, to remove terms, we need to use the opposite operation. And as you can see, 9 is being multiplied by x and the opposite of multiplication is division. So to remove nine on the left side, I need to divide by nine on the left side. And remember, this means I also need to divide by nine on the right side of the equal sign. So on the left side of the equal sign, nine X divided by nine equals X. And on the right side of the equal sign, 45 divided by nine equals 5. So x is equal to 5. Okay, let's try one more. Now in this example, we have an equation with variables and brackets on both sides. Now I've created a video that focuses specifically on equations with variables on both sides. So you're welcome to watch that video first if you'd like. You can find the link for this video in the description below. Now, just like the previous example, the first step is to expand the brackets. So I'm going to start by expanding the brackets on the left side of the equal sign, which means I'm going to multiply the term outside of the brackets by the terms inside of the brackets. So first, 4 multiplied by 4x and 4 multiplied by 4x equals 16x. And next, I need to multiply 4 by 1. And remember, it's important to consider the operation to the left of a term when carrying out your calculations. So this is 4 multiplied by negative 1, which equals negative 4. So now that I've expanded the brackets on the left side of the equal sign, I'm going to also expand on the right side of the equal sign. So I'm going to multiply 2 by all of the terms inside of the brackets. So first, 2 multiplied by 6x. 
and 2 multiplied by 6x equals 12x. And next, I need to multiply 2 by 8. And 2 multiplied by 8 equals 16. Now, the goal is to isolate the variable. In this case, we have the variable term 16x on the left side, and we have the variable term 12x on the right side. Now, I need to remove one of the variable terms so that there's only one. I recommend removing the smallest variable term, and in this case, that would be 12x. Now, you'll notice that the coefficient 12 is positive. So, to remove the variable term 12x on the right side, I need to use the opposite operation, which is subtraction. And 12x minus 12x equals 0, which completely removes 12x from the right side. And remember, when solving equations, whatever you do on one side of the equal sign, you need to do the same on the other side. So, since I've subtracted 12x on the right side of the equal sign, I'm going to also subtract 12x on the left side of the equal sign. And 16x minus 12x equals 4x. Now, let's bring down the remaining parts of the equation minus 4 equals 16. So now we have the equation 4x minus 4 equals 16. Now remember, we need to do reverse order of operations, which means we need to remove the constant 4. Now, the constant 4 is being subtracted in this equation. So to remove it, we need to use the opposite operation, which is addition. And whatever you do on one side of the equal sign, you need to do the same on the other side. So on the left side, negative 4 plus 4 equals 0, which completely removes 4 from the left side. And on the right side, 16 plus 4 equals 20. Now let's bring down the remaining part of the equation 4x. So now we have the equation 4x equals 20. Now to isolate the variable x, I'll need to remove the coefficient 4. And remember, to remove terms, we need to use the opposite operation. And as you can see, 4 is being multiplied by x, and the opposite of multiplication is division. So to remove 4 on the left side, I need to divide by 4 on the left side. And remember, this means I also need to divide by 4 on the other side of the equal sign. So on the left side of the equal sign, 4x divided by 4 equals x. And on the right side of the equal sign, 20 divided by 4 equals 5. So x is equal to 5. If you like this video, please subscribe to Mr. McLean Math. And also, be sure to click all so that you get notifications when new math videos are uploaded. Thank you for watching.